Good morning, everyone. This is Alonzo from alonzosblog.com. I was 16 years in Scientology, 15 years in anti-Scientology, and I've been eight years out of both, writing about each. Today, I'm going to talk to you about someone who has been buried in the collective memory of Scientology and Scientology criticism for, well, ever since the int-based escapees came out and start controlling the discussion on Scientology. And the person I'm talking about is Jerry Armstrong. So Jerry Armstrong can be easily understood as the most fair-gamed person in Scientology history. And just to let you know, this fair game has not stopped on Jerry Armstrong. This is an article from May of 2021. This is a picture of Kendrick Moxon, Scientology's lawyer, and Mike Rinder's real good friend for many years throughout his career. Scientology applies to renew arrest warrant for Jerry Armstrong. After almost 40 years of fair gaming Jerry Armstrong, Scientology's truculent mouthpiece, Kendrick Moxon, filed a 133-page application to California law enforcement for the arrest of Jerry Armstrong based on two anonymous comments, a website, forcing Armstrong to hire a lawyer to defend himself from Scientology once again. This is just to let you know that Jerry Armstrong is the most fair game person in Scientology history, and the fair game continues as of three years ago. Actually, it's continuing more in other forms, but I'm not going to get to that yet. I have a series on my blog, A History of Scientology Criticism. Who is Jerry Armstrong? I started this series of A History of Scientology Criticism because when I saw Mike Rinder come out and start taking over everything, banning all kinds of people from various message boards to silence them, I saw that he was revising history, especially regarding Jerry Armstrong. And many people did not know who this was. So I'm gonna quickly tell you Jerry Armstrong's story as written here in this very short but concise blog post. L. Ron Hubbard had hired a biographer named Omar Garrison and he assigned Jerry Armstrong, then a Sea Org member, to gather up L. Ron Hubbard's personal papers and organize them for Omar Garrison to write into his biography. When Jerry Armstrong saw that L. Ron Hubbard had lied about all of his biographical information, his war record, what he did before the war, and Jerry Armstrong saw his journal. So this is what Jerry was finding. And in December of 1981, he went to David Miscavige and Norman Starkey and the people who were running Scientology while Hubbard was on the lamb from the law. And he said, hey, you guys, look, I've been going through these papers of L. Ron Hubbard and I'm seeing that we're lying about him in the about the author section of each of these books. Uh, we can't do this. This is fraud. We're raising money based on knowing lies, and that's fraud. And to this day, they are continuing to shut him up. Anyway, that's who Jerry Armstrong is, and that's why you've not heard about him since Mike Rinder took over all discussion of Scientology beginning in 2009, 2010, continuing all up until a couple months ago, when everything collapsed on him. And like the flim flam man he is, he got the hell out of Dodge. This is just one thing about Jerry Armstrong. Mike Rinder back in 2021 was on a podcast where the fawning podcast operator said that Grinder was Scientology's enemy number one. He's the most fair game person in Scientology history. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. God. And so Michael Flynn was Jerry Armstrong's attorney who helped Armstrong fight the Church of Scientology in court for years and who was heavily fair game by Rinder with real Scientology fair game. Not the fake kind where they tell Leah Remini she's fat, but real Scientology fair game. While this podcast was going on, I saw this comment, Michael Flynn. Hey, Mike Rinder. Did you conduct operations against Mike Flynn? Respond to me, please. This Michael Flynn is Mike Flynn's son, and his dad was fair-gamed heavily by Mike Rinder and by the Church of Scientology for going up against them in court. And all these years later, especially in this interview, Mike Rinder isn't going to take up anything about Michael Flynn. So this is just one thing. I wanted to do this because... More is going to be coming out about Jerry Armstrong, 
and it relates to very, very important goals regarding protesting the Church of Scientology. It's actually the linchpin on one of the big three goals against Scientology. No one else is going to tell you this. I don't know why. Aaron certainly isn't going to. Nora Ames is not going to. I doubt if Serge or Lara FM or any of these other people know anything about any of this. I know that Kelly Copter played a quick excerpt from one of Jerry's videos, which I think is just fantastic that she did that, but didn't follow up to get any more information. So I'm going to be getting the information out. And that's how this is going to be. And you will see the degree to which this is very important. But for now, I'm introducing you to Jerry Armstrong. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your support, by the way. Oh my God. Hold on. Okay. Before I go, I got to show you something. Look at these guys. J-U-T-T-U-T-I-N. Gave me 10 bucks New Zealand. And he said, because I honestly value having your voice in the mix. And before that, Desiree Jordan. I'm a never in and donating to the cause I've never done until now. I say my first as well. In 25 years, I've never asked for money. Thank you so much. People do not do this for me, y'all. Nobody helps me. You have to understand. This is all new for me, and I just can't believe that this occurred. After Desiree gave me this money, I had to go someplace and I went, I went and I took a shower and I just started crying in the shower. Like this doesn't happen to me. And there are a lot of people who want to make sure that this doesn't happen to me. They've gotten rid of my clients. They've done, they've sued clients of mine. Whenever I, I can no longer talk about where I make money because they will start operations against me to try to get me fired or to try to turn clients against me. This has happened multiple times throughout my career. So they don't want me making money at what I do. They also don't want me to be able to have resources to buy private investigators, to do the things necessary that they know I will do if I only had the resources. So these people who did this, I, I can't, I can't uh, thank them enough. All I can say is that all money that you give me will go to very, very good use. All right. I'll make sure of it. So once again, thank you very, very much for your support. Over and out.